we have been privileged to once again come to the table. Table of peace and mercy. God's table. At this time, then, we were asked the church to join us in the church covenant, which is on your screen. Having been led, as we believed, by the Spirit of God, the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another, as one body in Christ, we engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote its prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship, ordinance, its discipline, and doctrine, to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealing, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger to abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another with brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feeling and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen and amen. Let's join now the choir and give us the opening. Let us break bread, bread together, together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. Mm -hmm. When I fall. Church Let together. us break bread yes. together. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When we fall when down I fall on my knees with my face. Let us drink wine together. Let us drink wine together on our knees. The precious blood that was shed for me. Let us, Let us drink wine together. Mm, yes, Lord. When I fall, when I fall oh, on my knees with my face. To, to the rising right sun. sun. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord have, have mercy, mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Today we have come now to celebrate 
the ordinance of our doctrine and belief. But not only that, we come to celebrate what Jesus, our Lord and Savior, did. The suffering that he went through, the whipping and the spitting that he went through, to take upon our sins, our transgressions, our trespasses, to take upon that, that we may have a right to the tree of life. The scripture said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank God today for the finished work at the cross. Amen. Now let us go to him in prayer. Amen. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for inviting us here to have communion with you right now. As we remember your son, our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer. When we think about our sins, God, being placed upon him. Our unworthiness, oh God, placed upon him. And he took that. In spite of all that he went through, God. Thank you, God, that he looked down for it in two generations and saw us. And saw that we would need a Savior. And he hung there. And he hung there. God, thank you. Thank you for the forgiveness of sins. That we are now made righteous with him because of our belief. Thank you, God, that you reached out to us before we ever reached out to you. Thank you for the change that we feel coming upon us even right now. Thank you, thank you God, for thank you. transformation and reformation. Thank, and you, thank you for healing right now, God. Yeah. Thank you for salvation and thank restoration. You, thank you, oh God, for what Jesus did at the cross. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you that he loved us just that much. Thank you that you loved us just that much. Hallelujah. To give your Hallelujah. only begotten son for our sins. Thank you that the, 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 that the bulls and the bullets couldn't do it. Thank you, God, that the ghosts couldn't do it. But thank you, God, you sent somebody who could feel the commission, God, that from this, God, we are healed, delivered, and saved. God, we bless your name today, and we praise you for allowing us, God, to confront, to encounter you this morning. God, have your way in this place. Have your way. Let your spirit be released in this place, God, as we take of the bread and drink of the, of the wine, God, of your blood, Lord. Let healing begin. Let restoration begin, oh God. Let us be able to stand up in you, God. Let us love one another. Let us be forgiven of all of our sins, creating us a clean heart. Glory to God. And renew a right spirit Hallelujah. within us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Deacons, please come. Yes. I, I worship and adore you. Just want to tell just you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you more than anything. Can you help me sing that? Yes. If you really love Jesus. Mm -hmm. I love you. Worship and adore you. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell Just you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you more than anything. You a good God. You a great, great God. I love you. I love you, Jesus. For your mercy and do I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love Lord, you. Lord, I love you more than anything. More than life itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, love I love you, Jesus. I worship and I worship and adore you. Just wanna tell just you. Just want to tell you. With my whole heart, I love you. I love you more than anything. And then the songwriter began to write, and he wrote the blood of Jesus. 
the blood that Jesus shed for me. Yes, yes. Way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose this power. And it reaches to the Lord. to put a spin on it. Right. Remember. Come on, church. me church. Hallelujah. I stretch. Yes, yes, yes. My hands to thee. Yes, Lord. No. on that evening on the night that he was to be betrayed he and his disciples went into the upper room and having washed the feet of his disciples he supped with them it is said that he took bread After breaking it, he gave thanks. He said, this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Take, eat this in remembrance of me. The bread of Christ, his body, let us eat. And then in the same manner, he took the cup. He said, this is my blood, which is the New Testament. As often as you drink of this, do this in remembrance of me. Haven't eaten the bread 
and drunk of the cup. He said, you should show forth my coming and my death until I come again. Walk in the light as he is the light. Amen. And we will have fellowship with one through another. Yes. They went out into the Mount of Olives. We cannot go to the Mount of Olives. But we can go to the highways and the byways and the hedges of our streets and communities. Yes. Telling men and women, boys and girls, that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. Telling them that yes, Jesus loves you. He loved you enough to give his own life. Through him, you will have eternal life. We can tell them, but not only tell them, we can live it before them. Do I get some help in here? Uh, I feel the spirit right now. This communion that we are taking is he living in us, walking in us, and we living in him. So let's take this seriously and begin to walk out our faith through the blood and the body of Christ. And they began to sing an old familiar hymn. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross and I know it was the blood to say me if you believe this you ought to stand to your feet it was my Savior's blood it was my Savior's blood it was my Savior's blood to say me one said a mumbling word yes and he never said a mumbling word he never said a mumbling word to save me why when the lost jesus died on that cross and i know it was the blood to save me oh yes he Hung his head and he died. He hung his head and he 
solid ground. My everything, my everything. Can I get a witness? 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 Our scripture is coming from Psalms 144, beginning at the first verse, Psalms 144. Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle, he is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who, sub, who subdues people under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them? Mere mortals that you think of them. Yes. They are like a breath. Yes. Their days are like a fleeting shadow. Oh. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth the lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and root them. Yes. Reach down your hand from on high. Yes. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Yes. I will sing a new song to you, yes. Yes. my God. On the ten-string lyre, 
I will make music to you, to the one who gives victory to the king, who delivers his servant David from the deadly sword. Deliver me, rescue me from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Amen. May the reading of God's word be a blessing to his people. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you are going to do in this service, God. We already feel your presence, God. We know that your spirit dwells within. And, Lord, we're going to catch on fire. Oh, God, and just run with your Holy Spirit right now. We thank you for your anointing, God. Oh, God, continue to fill us with your love, your comfort, and peace, God. We know that there are so many, God, that desire to be here, but for whatever reason cannot. And, Lord, we ask that you will come in this place and bless our preacher for the hour. Oh, God, set her tongue on fire, God, and let your word go forth. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 We will now have another song of inspiration followed by pastoral remarks.
church announcement followed by pastoral remark, remarks by our pastor. Amen. 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 
All ministry leaders ask to turn in minutes from your meetings from the 2022 calendar year through June 2023. If you have any questions, please contact the secretary. Church conference will be held on Sunday, August 13, 2023, following church services. The WMBA annual session will be held on Saturday, August 19, 2023, at 9 o'clock a.m. at First Cosmopolitan Baptist Church, located at 1515 Crosslink Road, Raleigh. Men's Day will be held on Sunday, August 20th, 2023. The guest speaker will be Reverend Kenneth Williams of Williams Grove Baptist Church. The theme is Step a Righteous Man, Steps of a Righteous Man, Psalms 37, 23, 24. Please govern yourself accordingly. At this time, we would like to bring to you our pastor, Reverend Dr. Lowry, for remarks. Amen. Amen. Good morning, First Baptist. Good morning. And good morning to our visiting friends. I was expecting to do this a little later in the service, but I do want to pause to say something to the church that I have not gotten the opportunity to say. And I want to say thank you. Yes. Thank you. That goes a long way, but thank you, first of all, for the prayers and the commitment to just see me through this. Uh, I'll heal in God's time. I mean, you know, if, I, if, I, if it was my time, I'd get up right now. <laughs> I'm getting stronger every day. The Lord has blessed me to just uh, get through this uh, process. As you all know, I had an infection in my spine, and uh, it just uh, and it came off my skin or some kind of way, and it entered into my stream and it on my arterial, set on my spine, and it went and paralyzed me from my belly button down. I could not move a thing, but I just want to report today I am moving my uh, uh, feet and my uh, legs, and I can demonstrate it, but I'm not going to do it right now. But thank you for the prayers, number one. But also thank you for the visits. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the monetary gifts some of you gave. Thank you for the cards that many of you sent. And thank you for coming around and blessing my wife and relieving her and uh, because it's a lot of work sitting in a chair. I didn't realize how much work had to be done and how much longer it takes you to get things done. You may be able to go to the bathroom and you're out in 15 minutes. I have to do an hour, hour and a half to do the same thing you did in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm thankful to God yes. uh, for being here yes. among the people of God Thank to God. celebrate just the Lord Jesus Christ and to be here. I, I, I'm trying to hold back from crying, but I do want to say thank each and every one of you for what you've done, whatever you may have done, phone call, card, or whatever, uh, send a message over the Internet, or may I say, uh, 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 what am I trying to say, uh, texting and all these kinds of things. Thank you all, one and all, for all you've done. I'll be back. I'll be back in my rightful yes, place to do yes. things, but I'm going to try. To, uh, yes, as the way I feel today and the way I felt the last three weeks, I really should not have been here, but I said, I am not going to allow the enemy Amen. to keep me. Amen. To keep me from church. Amen. But I want to admonish you, Amen. if I can come the way I feel to church on Sunday, you have no excuse. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Love you guys. Perseverance. I know it's not easy, but God got you and we got you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we are ready for the word of God to be preached, teach, talk, however the Lord give it to Reverend uh, Dr. Hagin. We will receive it because we know 
is coming from the Lord. Amen. So the next song will be by our mass choir, and the next speaker will be Reverend Dr. Hagee. Amen. 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 We sing.
reign forever. And I'm just wondering how many really know that. How many believe that he reigns forever? Now, you, you don't want me to get ugly on you. Come on now. How many believe that he's a king of kings and lord of lords? And he reigns forever, forevermore. All hell, King Jesus. Just that very thought ought to make you have a turnaround. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Now, I want you to do just a little bit of verse of that, and we're going to step, we're going to join the choir. Because we're going to let God know. We know and we believe. Come on, somebody. He can do anything but fail. That he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He can do anything but fail. Oh, hell, King Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yeah.
Thank God. Thank God, Pastor Larry. Thank God. Even when you thought you couldn't, even when man said it couldn't be done, you are here again. Yes. Thank God. Thank you for allowing me to stand in your presence. Amen. At this pulpit. For your prayers, encouragement. You didn't have to do it, but you did. So thank you for being not only our pastor, but our brother, a friend, a comrade, a colleague, someone I could go to, amen, when I needed an honest answer. Amen. And the uh, Wake Missionary Baptist Association and all the pastors and, and members of that association are praying for you. And they are always asking about you. So we have good reports to give you. Thank you. To Lady Larry, God bless you. We can't thank you enough. Amen. Thank you for being there for my brother. Amen. And when you are there for my brother, we are there for you. Amen. To God be the glory. And in the absence of my pastor, Pastor Lady W.J. Wood, we honor him today as well. Minister Robertson and Reverend Florence, God bless you for always Amen. being here, holding up my arms, and to all of the ministers who are here in this building. Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you all so very much. And I want to say to all of my sisters, I'm sorry I didn't get to celebrate with you any any of the events in, in last month, but uh, I heard that God was here. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's the main thing. And I pray for you and with you. So God bless you for the care for you carrying out the will of God and the kingdom of God's business. To all of the leaders here, deacons and members, and I'm glad to see my daughter who came in. God bless her. She surprised me, so we're glad to see her as well. Well, I realize, I realize, I realize, Commissioner uh, Williams, uh, that it's uh, not about me, but it's all about God. Amen. So if you would go with me to the Gospel of St. Mark, the Gospel of St. Mark, the second chapter. Verses 1 through 12, coming from the New King James Version. And it reads thusly. And again he entered Capernaum after some days. And it was heard that he was in the house. Immediately, many gathered together so that there was no room, or no longer room to receive them. Not even near the door. He preached the word to them. And then they came to him bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. Come on, somebody. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, why does this man speak blasphemies, blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But immediately, somebody say immediately, immediately. when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they reasoned thus within themselves, he said to them, why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easy to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven you are to say arise, Take up your bed and walk. Uh -huh. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth yes. to forgive sins. Yes. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Yes. And immediately he arose, yes. took up the bed, yes. went out in the presence of them all, so that all were amazed and glorified God, saying, We never, never. we never. Yes saw anything like this yes. father we thank you for your presence here we thank you for your peace and your power 
Holy Spirit, breathe upon us afresh. Send your glory throughout this place. Send your latter rain, oh God, that we will know that we're in your presence. Heal, deliver, and save, and set free. And we will give you all the glory and all the praise. For it is in your name, Jesus, that we pray this prayer. Amen and amen. amen. And I would like to use as a subject, faith still works. Amen. Faith still works. Faith still works. Yeah, I just saw my son and my husband coming in. Wow. Amen. Faith still works. Life has a way of hitting you at times that will break your heart. Pastor Larry, sometimes it will crush our spirit mm -hmm. and cause us to question God and even wonder, is it even worth going forward? Mm -hmm. Have you not been there, somebody? Amen. The thing about this Christian journey is that God never said it was going to be a smooth sailing, did he? Mm -hmm. He never said that. I, I, I don't see it anywhere in here. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. In fact, the Bible lets us know without a shadow of a doubt that we will have troubles. Yes. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But he said, But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And there will be troubles in this life. And when our faith will be on trial, come on somebody, and how we respond to the trouble will determine if you will be victorious or defeated. And I come to put a notice out on the devil today. The devil is a liar. You are already defeated. Come on somebody. Because we serve a God who heals our cries and pity our every groan. We serve a God who is a physical therapist for the paralyzed. He's a God who causes the blind to see, the lame to walk, and the deaf to hear. In fact, many of us who spend three-fourths of our day upright and in motion are constantly patients of Jehovah God. Y'all got me. Stay with me now, church. We visit Dr. Jesus' office regularly for a remedy for our soul's diseases. You see, we too suffer from a state of paralysis. What you talking about, Mary Haggard? Oh, we are physically healthy, but many of us are spiritually lame. You don't have to agree with me. We have activity in our limbs, but no activities in our spirits. We can run a 5K, but we cannot walk in the footsteps of Christ. Y'all don't hear me now. We can high-stepping in God's house, but our souls are made on the sick and short end list. And right now, America suffers from a state of paralysis. Yeah. We are victims of paralysis, yeah. going nowhere mm. in our lives. Yeah. We are social paralytics, yeah. confined in a society of glass ceilings mm. and affirmative actions, crippled with the stereotypes of sexism yeah. and racism, yeah. and stricken with an urban flight of redlining and gang violence, yeah. drug addiction, yeah. and political chaos. Yeah. Is there anybody in here with me? Yeah. Even in the church, somebody say the church, which is to be constantly on the move, seem to be sick with a spiritual paralysis. We who are, uh, are, are ought to be born in, somebody might say the gospel train of Zion, still sitting parked in a handicap zone. I, I, I'm talking about the universal church, and don't get, don't get quiet on me. We have parts of the church body not willingly responding to the will of the head. What do you mean, Murray Hagin? Limbs. That should be feeding the hungry and clothing and naked, a crippled and lifeless. Feet that should be prepared with the gospel of peace are immobile. We have body parts doing their own thing, are not doing anything at all. Joint boys fighting for control over the pulpit. I'm talking about the universal church. Finance committees struggling for power of the purse. Members too busy trying to be seen rather than trying to serve. Can I preach this here? The church body is infected. And I'm 
us a church to have proof response to the body telling us to praise the Lord, but our mouths are sealed and our tongues won't say amen. amen. The body tells the head the body to the head tells the body to clap its hands. Shout for joy. But the body will only sit with the arms folded and legs crossed. Amen. We are paralyzed, bound by narrow mindedness and stubbornness, transfixed with tradition, tradition and old time religion, afraid of criticism and social condemnation. I tell you that the church body sometimes suffers from spiritual paralysis. We are capable of hearing, but incapable of action. We can observe but we will not move. We are like the people of Capernaum who heard that Jesus was in town. They were people drawn to Christ because of the miracles he did. See, the crowds came out just to see a good show. They were so amazed at his healings. They all marveled at his teaching. They were filled with wonder when he calmed the stormy seas. They were even fearful when he called out demons. Crowds that wanted a good show, Minister Robinson, Surrounded by Jesus. They confused his miracles with the works of a magician. Can I get some help in here? They mistook his message of peace for the threats of an insurrection. They wanted a people who wanted to see signs and wonders not hear about repentance and salvation. They wanted sermons that pleased them rather than a gospel that could deliver them. They were expected to be entertained rather than be educated. They were drawn to the preacher rather than to the proclamation. Yeah, Spectators and hearers looking for a good show yeah. surrounding Jesus. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah, and when outsiders try to get in, these people just stood in the way. Yeah, and we still have churches yeah. filled with people hindering us yeah. from responding to the words of Christ. Yeah. Like the crowd in our text, we stand in the way and refuse to move. Yeah. We won't let new ministries come in. We won't let new music come in. We won't let new members come in. We won't let new visions come in. Am I right? Amen. We stand in the way of those seeking to get closer to Jesus. We have the sick and homeless struggling to get in, but we won't move. And thus we stand and tell the truth when we testify, I've been in the church 30 years. We're just hearers standing in the way of those seeking to get closer to God. And brothers and sisters, the church, the universal church, needs hearers and more seekers. We are called to be like the, our, our four faithful brothers who sought to get closer to Jesus. The gospel calls us to seek God. Be seekers after Jesus. You see, seekers of Christ are willing to go anywhere to get a blessing from Jesus. If Jesus appears in the synagogue, the seekers will be there. If they appear in the mosque, the seekers will be there. If Jesus appears in a tiny storefront church in the middle of a street, a city, the seekers will be there. Yeah. They're not hindered yeah. by denomination. Yeah. They're not threatened by doctrine. Yeah. They don't care whether the preacher have a hoop or the choir have a sway. Y'all yeah. ain't with me now. Yeah. Seekers just want to be in the presence of Jesus. Yeah. They just want to yeah. see Jesus. Yeah. Not you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah. They're coming in here. Young folk with green, with green hair, purple hair, raising their nose and their tongues, and they're coming in. They want to see Jesus. They want to see Jesus. And I can guarantee you when they come in here like that, some of y'all going to look at them funny. But guess what? They will have more religion in, a, in, a, in them. Seekers after Christ. Seekers just want to be the prince of Christ. Amen. Those who are truly seeking God want to see the manifestation of Jesus in their lives. They are looking for answers, not entertainment. The people want to know how to deal with the monkey on their backs. They want to know how to mend their broken marriages and raise their way with children. Like the old folk used to say, they just want to lay down their heavy burdens uh -huh. and find a sweet relief. They want blessed assurance yes. that Jesus loves them yes. and that he cares about them. Yes. This is what they want. Yes. 
And I don't know about you, but that's what I want. Amen. When I come to church, I want to know that God is here, yes. that the presence of the Lord is in the place. Yes. And you know, saints, I'm finding out that it's difficult to be a seeker after Christ in today's society. Amen. Friends begin to leave you because you no longer go where you used to go. Family began to forsake you because you no longer do what you used to do. Church folks begin to talk about you because you always got a testimony and talking about the goodness of God. It's not easy being a seeker after Christ. Because we know that it is not enough just to hear the gospel. But we need to live the gospel every day. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? It's not enough to hear others pray for us. But we need to learn how to pray for ourselves. Amen. And yes, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But we also realize that faith without works is dead. Amen. Am I helping somebody here today? Amen. Seekers just want a closer relationship with God. Amen. They want a faith that can be seen because a visible faith gets Jesus' attention. Yeah. Jesus saw the faith of these four friends. He saw their desire to take chances. He saw their determination to save one lost soul. Mm -hmm. He saw their willingness to upset the status quo. Come on now. He saw their faith in action. And that is what God wants to see in us. Mm -hmm. He wants to see our faith mm -hmm. in action. Yeah. Oh, he can see our singing and shouting, but let him also see our tithing and our giving. Mm -hmm. He can see us clapping our hands mm -hmm. and praying at the altar, mm -hmm. but let him also find us, find us loving our neighbor and our enemies. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And witnesses to strangers. Jesus wants to see our faith in action yeah. because faith still works. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I want Jesus to see my faith. Yes. I want the visible image of my faith to reflect the presence of Christ. Yes, God. If somebody was here to take a picture of my faith, I wanted to show my desire to seek after Christ, yes. no matter what obstacles may be in my way. Yes. I want my Kodak moment, come on somebody, yes. to be more than just a Sunday morning yes. blur. But I want my true colors to come out. Yes. Are you with me? Come on, Brother Harris. Yes. I want my portrait of faith to be a motion picture of my daily devotion to God. Yes. I want my life yes. to resemble Christ, yes. a ministry of faith. Yes. Jesus embodied faith. Yes. He was a man of reflection and action yes. and faith and works. In other words, Jesus practiced what he preached. Yes. Amen. He not only talked about manna from heaven, but he became the living bread yes. and fed 5,000 hungry souls. Yes. He not only talked about Abom and Gilead, but he healed the sick and he raised the dead. Yes. He not only preached the forgiveness of sins, but he became sin so that we could be forgiven. Yes. See, Jesus practiced yes. what he preached. Yes. His life was one of both faith and action. Yes. You see, faith is more than just believing in God and reflecting upon the word. In other words, our faith needs to work for us. Mm -hmm. We have to work at our faith. If we come across a crowd of folk, who won't make a way for us, we must be willing to raise the roof. If the mountains will not move, be willing to climb the mountains. If the waters will not part, be willing to forge the sea. For the people of God to overcome their paralysis, we need to put our faith to work. We need to trust that God will make a way out of what seems to be no way. Somebody say faith. Faith still works. And in my mind's eye, what healed the par paralytic is that he put his faith in action. Yeah. Just look at the text. Jesus never touched him. Jesus never commanded him to be made whole. Amen. Even when Jesus told him that his sins were forgiven, the man was still flat on his back. This man's paralysis was not cured by the words of Jesus of absolution, but by obeying Jesus' command to rise up, Amen. that's what the Bible says, Amen. rise up and go. Yes. The paralytic had to trust that Jesus would not tell him to do something that he could not do. Amen. He had to believe that he was empowered to put muscles to bone and actually walk. Amen. He moved on faith and fervor. Yes. He responded immediately without hesitation and question. Yes. And likewise, when the word tells us to get up, to rise up, 
We must be about our father's business yes. because faith still works. When the word says go, we must move. We don't need signs and wonders to direct our every step. We don't need to call a church wide fast to do our ministry. We just need to trust God. Trust him. Just trust God. He said, prove me. Trust him. We don't have to mix tea leaves and read our horoscope or call psychics. Just trust God's word and move. We don't have to invest in prayer clothes and holy oil and burn incense and Betty, Betty, whatever, Betty, Sister Betty. Trust in God's word and move. And if you're ready to walk, if you're tired of being motionless, being lifeless, and going nowhere, then trust in God's word and move. If you're tired of just being able to make ends meet, tired of depending on other folk, tired of being a burden to your friends, trust in God's word and move. You see, we serve a God who is constantly on the move, and he blesses those who are willing to move with him. He blesses those who are willing to obey his command to rise up and go. Yes, God blessed Abraham yes. with a great name and a nation yes. because he was willing to rise up and go. Yes. He blessed Joshua and the Hebrew children yes. with the land of milk and honey because they were willing to rise up and go. Yes. He blessed the ten lepers uh -huh. with healing because they were willing to rise up and go. Yes. He blessed Harriet Tubman yes. with free slaves because they were willing to rise up and go. Yes. He blessed the civil rights workers because they were willing to rise up and go. Yeah. And I made up my mind this morning, church. I have to trust in God's word to rise up and go. I refuse to be paralyzed by tradition. I refuse to be confined to old paradigms. I got to get up, rise up, and walk. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. And like Enoch, I'm going to walk with God because I am no more. Like the Hebrew boys, I'm going to walk into the fiery furnace, knowing that our God is more than able. Like David, I'll walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil. When the Spirit tells me to move, I'm going to move. When God asks, who shall I send? I say, here my Lord, send me. For I serve a God that gives power to the faith. To them that have no power, he increases their strength. And every young youth may faint and be weary. But the young men shall not falter. Mm. But if I wait on the Lord, yeah. he will renew my strength. Yeah. I shall mount him with wings as an eagle. Yeah. And I will not be weary. Yeah. I will walk and not faint. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to walk. Yeah. I may stumble sometimes, but I'm ready to walk. Yeah. I may even fall sometimes, yeah. Pastor Larry, but I'm ready to walk. Yeah. So my brothers and sisters, I get ready to take my seat. You think you've had enough. So you feel like throwing up your hands in the air and say, Lord, I've had enough. I can't take this no more. The pressure's too much. I can't handle this. I've had enough. So you want to quit? You want to throw in the towel? Get back in the game. Come on, somebody. Get back in the game. God is not through with us yet. Get up. Help is on the way. How do you know, Mary Hagin? Because I stopped by to tell you. That faith still works. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is in the faith business. Yeah. The Lord sent Elijah on a mission. Yeah. He sent Abraham out of the country to a land built by eternal hands. The Lord sent Moses back to Egypt. He sent Joshua to the land of promise. The Lord sent Aaron to be by Moses' side. The Lord sent Samuel as a prophet and David as a king. The Lord sent Jonah to Nineveh and Isaiah as a prophet. The Lord sent John to make a straight way of the Lord. And then, and then, and then, the Lord sent Jesus to take away the sins of the world. Jesus was sent not to condemn the world, but to save the world, to heal the hurting, to love the loveless, to forgive the fraudulent, to bear burdens, to open blind eyes, kill the, 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 the crippled, destroy the works of the devil. And as I get ready to go to my seat, cleanse the corrupt. I'm so glad this morning that the God sent his only begotten son his name was Jesus, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I'm so glad there ain't no salvation in any other name but the name of Jesus. I'm so glad that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Jesus is everything to me. Can I preach a little longer? I'm giving the sake of it. When I'm hungry, 
he's my bread. When I'm lonely, he's my comfort. When I'm stressed out, he is my peace. When I'm down trodden, he's my joy. When I'm weak, he's my strength. When I'm afraid, he's my assurance. When I'm fasting, he's my living water. When I'm tossed and driven, he's my anchor. When I'm bound, he's my deliverance. When I'm wounded, he's my born and Gilead. When I'm searching, he's my desire of my soul. When I'm singing, he is my song. When I'm preaching, he's my message. When I'm praying, he's my authority. And when I'm worshiping, he's my God. God is. God is. God is my everything. God is. God is. Say yeah. Yes. God is my everything. Let us stand to our feet. Let us stand to our feet. Faith still works. He's got enough grace to save us all, to heal us. And if you're in this place today and never said yes to Jesus, You've been trying to hold on to all pieces of life and it just kept falling apart. Remember the first step in being put back together is admitting that you're broken yes. and that Jesus is the only one that can make us new. Yes. If you never said yes to the grace of God that was offered to us in Jesus, then now is your opportunity. God loves you. He accepts you as you are. Yes. No matter what you've done or where you've fallen short, yes. he calls you to be what you were created in him to be. Yes. What are the things you need to release to Jesus this morning? What are the things you have said no to? He said, I stand at the door and knock. And behold, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. He said, if you confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart yes. that yes. Jesus is the Son of God, yes. that he was crucified, yes. he died, yes. was buried, and he rose on the third day. Yes. If you believe that in your heart, then you shall be saved. Yes. Is there anyone? Is there anyone? Church won't save you. Longevity won't save you. Family can't save you, your pocketbook can't save you, your job can't save you. Only Jesus. Only Jesus can save you. So if you're out there and you're afraid to walk up here, just raise your hand and the deacons are coming get you. But don't wait. This could be your last opportunity to accept Christ. Is there anyone? Is there anyone? You may be in the media and a live streaming. But if you'll go to the website after this service is over with, follow the instructions, and someone will get back with you. Perhaps you're here without a church family and a covering. I recommend First Baptist. Few quay. Awesome pastor, deacons and leadership are ready to take you in. Will you come? Will you come? You may come by letter from another Baptist church, confession of your faith as a candidate for water baptism. So then perhaps you've never uh, 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 um, repeated the prayer of acceptance into the body of Christ. If you haven't, if you would just bow your heads and repeat after me. Father, it's written in your word, according to your word, that if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart, God, that you raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. God, I confess that Jesus is my Lord. By the drawing of the Holy Spirit, I, I make him Lord of my life right now. And I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. 
and I renounce my past life, oh God. I close the door to any of Satan's devices, and I now accept your forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving me of all my sin. And Lord, you said now I am a new creation, and that old things are passed away, and that I have become new. I thank you, God, for sealing me into the family and into your kingdom. I am now your child, and I've been sealed by the Holy Spirit until the day you come to get me. Thank you, God, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And again, if you're on live stream or on the telephone by way of media, just reach out to someone on the website, and they'll get back with you. Now we want to pray for the needs of the people. And rather than coming to the altar, we're going to pray for you right where you stand. If you just raise your hand if you have a need. Yes, 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 yes. Father in heaven, you are good and you are great and you are merciful. And we come before you with a spirit, oh God, of thanksgiving. We thank you, God, for your mercy and for your grace, for your everlasting love, for your protection. Thank you because you supply all of our needs according to your riches in glory. Thank you, Lord, because you are a good dad and you are a good father. And we worship and adore your name. Father, you said where two or three are gathered in your name, you would be in the midst. So thank you for the assurance of your presence here this day. God, we boldly ask for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit right now. Do it again, Lord, what you did. At Do it again, what you did last week, what you did last year. Do it again, Lord. Don't forget us about us, Lord. And during times of crisis, God, we need you. People are hurting, Lord. The burdens are heavy. And we need you be broken hearted. And you are those who are grieving right now. For you said we may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And now, God, we also pray for those, God, who are sick in the hospital. Yes, yes, Deacon Robinson and, yes, and Pastor Larry and others, God, yes, who are with us, God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for healing them, God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for touching their bodies, God. Yes, yes. Thank you for giving them strength, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. When man couldn't do it, God, you did. Yes, yes. And God, those who have struggled with loneliness, anxiety, mental health issues, God, touch them, Lord, God. Yes, yes. You said by your stripes. They are healed. Yes. And God, we especially pray for those who know you not in the pardon of their sin. We pray for our young people. Every day, God, our children are leaving us by way of suicide, mental illness, and violence, Lord, and drugs, God. God, have mercy on our young people. Wrap your arms around them, God, and pull them towards you. Draw them to you, God. Touch that mother, that father who, oh God, are worried and are crying out for their child. God, we need you. We need you, Lord. Many of us have family members, God. We need, oh God, a closer relationship. We need love, oh God, a bond in love, God. We need to be able to forgive, God, and let things go, God, and to trust you in these matters. God, if there's anyone here, even right now, who are in circumstances such as a lack of finance, bills, or God, by their knees according to your riches in glory. So release, oh God, find that your blessings. Release healing right now. Release restoration. Release salvation. Release sanctification. Release justification. And we will receive it, God. So now teach us how to be faithful. Teach us how to get up and move now. Teach us, Lord, how to continue our days with thanksgiving and praise. And again, God, we thank you for this church. We ask, God, that you'll continue to wrap your arms around them. Hold them together, Lord, with unity and love and fellowship. Thank you for how you've been with this church, how you've been there loving them, God, and loving on them, God, and how you strengthen each one, each ministry, God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for what it is to be, God. Not what it was, but what it is to be. Oh, God, we give you the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, God, have your way with First Baptist. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. You may be seated if you can. Thank you, God.
Thank you, Lord. trust in the Lord. The devil is busy. We're not giving him no accolades, but we know what he's trying to do. So we need to step on his ugly head and let him know that he's already defeated. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Hagin. I did fail to uh, recognize birthdays and anniversaries for the month of August. Just raise your hand if you have a birthday or anniversary for the month of August. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We pray that uh, your birthday anniversary will be many blessings from the Lord and that you have many, many more. Amen. Now Reverend Florence will come and conduct our offering. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I think it's a little bit more people in that that I heard, but <laughs> praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Sometimes it looks like a few of us get lost when we doing certain things. <laughs> but we thank God anyhow, because God is always on the scene. He's never late. He, 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 anything, he's always early, because I know he's been early in my life, and I just praise God for all that he does. But I'm here to call you to your attention to the offering. This is a time that we want to give now to support the church. The church don't run on us just being here. The church has ran off finances. It takes finances to run the church. If you don't believe it, just sit in your home and stop paying your bills and watch everything slowly begin to shut down. It's the same way right here. If you don't pay the bills, they're going to shut it down. Amen? Amen. So we're going to ask the ushers if they will come forth and collect our offering. And may God continue to bless you. Those of you that might be online and want us to give to uh, First Baptist, we want you to just send it in by mail. If you want to mail it in, you can go. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> Send it at 105 West Street, Northwest Street, Arena, North Carolina, 26526. If you want to send it by PayPal or whatever electronic uh, instrument you might have to send it in, you can do that. And if there's anyone out there that needs prayer, you may call 919-552-915. Zero, and there will be someone waiting on the phone to receive your call, and they would respond to you, and you may ask for whatever you need prayer for, and I'm quite sure prayer will be surrounded upon your behalf. We thank God for you all, and we may God continue to bless First Baptist and all that recognize God's sight. Those of you that are listening online, God bless you and God be with you.
within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you Dr. Lowry once again. It's so good to see you here in the church and Lady Lowry and to all of you. To this choir thank you. To my husband and daughter and grandson thank you for coming to support me. To all of my friends in Fuquay. You know I'm from Fuquay so I know everybody. Amen. <laughs> and everybody's probably some kin to me too Pastor Lowry. But we thank God for all the deacons and leaders. And so at this time now let us now be dismissed. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the love that we feel. Yes. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for unity, God. And we thank you for fresh anointing. Yes, we thank you for all the healing that has taken place deliverance and restoration yes. now God I ask you to bless your people yes. bless their going out and their coming in yes. their uprising and their sitting down yes. bless them in the field and bless them in the city yes. smile upon them oh God and be gracious to them throughout this week yes. and now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to find us faultless before thy throne of grace to him be all glory, power, majesty, and dominion. Henceforth, now and forevermore, let us now sing with the choir. somebody, shake somebody's hand, tell them you love them, and let them know that faith still works. Amen.